This is the data set that we have been using from the start of this course. In the previous module, you studied how to scale features. However, in that module, we only considered numeric features. Features are generally of two types when the dataset is already structured. By structured dataset, we mean that the data is already organized into rows and columns like this, where the rows represent objects or instances and the columns represent their specific features or attributes. So for a structured dataset, features could be of two types. They are the numeric features that we used in the previous module and scaled them. They are again of two types which are integer or discrete values and real or floating point values. The other type of features are categorical features. These features are also of two types. They are ordinal features or ordinal categorical features and nominal categorical features. Ordinal categorical features are the ones that are having specific string values. However, there is an order in them. For example, if we have a feature for education and people have education like bachelor's degree, master's degree or a PhD degree. So these are categorical features, but there is a specific order in them where at the lowest level we have the bachelor's qualification, then the master's and then the PhD. The same way, if we have the salary class of a group of people, it can be low salary, medium salary and high salary. So again, these are categorical features, but they have a specific order in them. Why we are interested in this specific order is because we already know that most of the machine learning would want this whole data to be represented in the form of numbers. So if the categorical features are ordinal, we can directly replace them with numbers that is called integer encoding. So we would assign probably 0 to B, 1 to M and 2 to P and that is going to work perfectly for this specific scenario because PhD is at a distance of 2 from bachelors. So all the mathematics or the arithmetics that we are going to apply on these numbers are going to make the same sense as they would in the real world. The same rule would be applied over here and we would assign 0 to low one to medium, two to high, and the same way we can assign integer values to any other categorical ordinal features. So they would be replaced with numbers and now we are good to go with using this data for any machine learning model that is going to all these numbers and would try to make sense of it. The problem with nominal categorical features, just like we can see over here, is that we cannot just replace them with numbers because if we assign 0 to Colombo and 1 to Singapore, 2 to Tokyo, they are not going to make sense in mathematics as these would do over here. This would mean that Singapore and Colombo are more alike and are very different from Tokyo or maybe Melbourne. So integer encoding is not going to help in this case when we are dealing with categorical nominal features. So the general procedure to deal with such features is basically to split that feature into the number of unique values that we have for that feature and use one heart encoding. So in case of nominal categorical features, we would be using one heart encoding. So if we have this one, two, three and four unique values over here, we are going to represent this one column by four columns where the first column would be, let's say, CC, that is city as Colombo, then, then CS, city as Singapore, then CT, that is city as Tokyo, and then finally CM, that is city as Melbourne. So for the first value, which is Colombo, we are going to have a one over here and then zero for the rest of the other columns. 
The same way for the second feature we have the city as Singapore so it's going to be 0 1 0 0 so for any given instance or row we are going to have one one value in all these four columns and the rest are going to be zero so this is what we mean by one heart encoding that is the most frequently used way where you can represent nominal categorical features in the form of numbers in the coming lectures we are going to study them in more detail how categorical features can be used in training a machine learning model.